Hi there, and this is Hoo Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. And there's only one story everyone is talking about. Carlos Tevez's refusal to take the field during Manchester City's Champions League clash against Bayern Munich this morning. And his manager, Roberto Mancini, has finally hammered the nail in the coffin, publicly stating that Tevez's time at City is over. Well, this, I'm disappointed. Because it's Carlos. If it was another player, maybe. I think that uh, this is, can happen in a, in a top club. That one player refused to go in to help uh, his teammates in a match uh, in Porta like tonight. But I want to do one question. You think that in Bayern Munich one player can do this uh, behavior, can have this behavior in the Milan, in Manchester United? No. This is the answer. If one player earns a lot of money, play for Manchester City in a Champions League, he has this behavior, for me, he can play. Never. Just like Mancini said, I haven't heard of any player refusing a manager's instructions to take to the field, let alone someone who earns £250,000 a week. And that's the same sentiments echoed by many City fans. On City's official Facebook page, Stacey Brown has lost all respect for the Argentinian. Anthony Chiplin asserts some reality into the issue, and rightfully so. What would happen if your boss told you to carry out an important assignment in the last 30 minutes of your workday and re you, you refuse to do it? You ain't coming back to work the next day, or oh, ever, son. And I feel the ultimate comment came from Elaine Gary. She suggests that Tevez should be put up in the January transfer market and sell him for 1p. Harsh, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Well, just as City are doing so well in the league, this is the sort of stuff that will certainly derail their title chances. Can the rest of the squad ignore this incident and carry on? Here's a look at what they are up against in the next couple of weeks. After the Blackburn game this weekend, there will be a break for the Euro qualifiers. Hopefully, Mancini will be able to bring order back in the dressing room because after that, it's Aston Villa, Villarreal in the Champions League and what many claim to be the title decider, it's United at Old Trafford on the 23rd. I'm with Elaine Gary. Put him up in the transfer market and sell him for 1p. That will certainly send a message to all the other divas in football. There is no one greater in a football club than... Sir Alex Ferguson. Hey, I, I know that we promised to feature Fran Otomi's appeal to all Arsenal fans, but I guess that we'll just have to wait until tomorrow. Because even if Carlos Tevez didn't play a single second of that Champions League game, he most certainly will be taking up a lot of broadcast time everywhere in the world. And that just leaves me to say, Tan Lago y adios, Senor Tevez, and we will see you tomorrow. Ciao, Bella.